uneventful night. Quiet, quiet night. It was going okay before midnight. And then from about 12, from midnight till about three, or should I say one o'clock till about three, I had no business. I had two trips between three and four and no trips after four o'clock. Oh, yeah. And now it's 5.58. I'm just gonna take it in. I've, I've already deposited my money in the bank and I've already fueled it. Now all I have to do is park it. I didn't bother to wash it because the streets are still greasy as you can probably see. And I'm tired and I've watched a lot of YouTube and I've done some sleeping too. I will do some more sleeping in the daytime when I'm at home. Oh look, a green light. That doesn't happen very often in this town. And of course this one just turned red. So we'll have to wait. And why is this thing not focusing? It's all out of focus. Why is that? It was focusing just fine before. I gotta wait for these cars to go. Oh, now it's focusing. I wonder how that works. I just found out that if you're caught holding a cell phone starting in the new year, the fine will be like $999 and a three year suspension of your driver's license. Wow. I'm a criminal right now. Just by holding this phone and shooting video. I guess I'll be shooting more videos of me from the dashboard in the future. Just to avoid having to pay that fine and lose my license for three years. Is that what he said? Yeah, it's something like that. Something ridiculous like that. They're really serious about that. Okay, I'll be back tomorrow. 6.12 in the morning on Wednesday. No, Tuesday, the 31st of December 2019. Um... This uh, Monday night was just slow. Slow, 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 slow. I think I've had four trips since midnight. Grand total of $170 for the whole night. $170. And that is because it is the second to last night of the year. And New Year's Eve is the big one. So everyone was holding back all night long for the night that's coming. And uh, there was nothing eventful at all, all night. I did a lot of sleeping. I watched a lot of YouTube. I watched quite a bit of YouTube. I did quite a bit of sleeping. I'm just uh, heading to the gas station now to fuel up for the last time this year. And it's raining, so I'm not going to wash the car. Let it rain. Oh, yeah. i got to go to the chiropractor and get my neck stretched this morning. Haven't been there in a while. Last time I was there was oh over a week ago, and that's because over the Christmas uh, for Christmas Day, the day before Christmas, Christmas Eve, and Christmas Day, uh, they were closed. 
I think they were open again on Boxing Day, but that was not a day I had to go. Anyway, I'm at the gas station now, so I'm going to fuel up. And, um, and that's that. See you next year, I guess. Oh, finished my shift. It is now 5.44, New Year's Day in the morning. I've got almost $700 on for the night. Uh, $700. Yeah, believe it or not, $700. I think that's the second biggest night I've ever had. I went non-stop. I started at 6.20 in the evening. I could have, I could not start earlier because day shift hadn't arrived before then. And it was one right after another. No matter where I was, I had another call. And I could also reject the calls that seemed to be too far away or too old. And uh, only twice did I end up somewhere and not get away. I always had another fare. So I chose most, most of the time I chose wisely which ones to accept and which ones to reject. And so it worked out quite well. Now I have a very dirty car because it was a windy night and there were a lot of branches from trees that got knocked down, especially the uh, evergreen trees. And so there's, uh, there's some uh, green fuzz on my fenders. And uh, the interior of the car is probably looking kind of beat up too. I, I haven't looked at it yet, but I probably will. Anyways, yeah, uh, I didn't have any trouble from anyone except for these two guys who tried to start a fight because what they did was they, they uh, this couple got in the back at the casino. Like I was sent to the casino to pick somebody up. The person I was sent to pick up wasn't there or wouldn't answer their phone. And so these two people got in the back and I tried calling the phone number uh, of the people who had called and uh, got a message that this call could not be completed as dialed and then uh, as we're about to pull away this other guy climbs in the front seat and they say in the back that he's not with us I go oh, okay and then the guy says well I'm gonna try and save you some money I'm gonna pay till we get to my place and then you guys can kill go on from there anyways we weren't halfway to the guy's place where they started an argument over who was gonna pay how much and um, then these guys were starting to call each other fags and pussies. I mean, these were these were guys in their 40s <laughs> calling each other fag and pussy. So um, that was kind of ridiculous. And the guy in the back uh, requested that I stop the car so the guy in the front can get out, which is what happened. And I kept saying, you know, a couple times during the trip, I kept saying, you know, this is why I don't double up fares. I don't like doubling up fares because there's always going to be a disagreement over who pays what or who goes where or, or what the story is. Anyway, uh, that's it for New Year's Eve. Uh, Happy New Year 2020. And I'll be back tomorrow for another one. It is now. 4.13 a.m. And I just dropped off at the airport. I got uh, $263 on. It is, yeah, $263 on. And uh, that's pretty good considering that it's been a slow night. It is the uh, night after New Year's Eve. So it's not New Year's Eve, but it's the New Year's Day Eve if that makes any kind of sense. And uh, I didn't have that many trips, but the trips I had were generally longer than your average. And while well, this one was a bit of a fluke, I got sent way out to Central Saanich to pick this guy up. And uh, and he's going on a plane. He's going, he, he's, uh, he's leaving on a plane, but I had to come out 
towards the airport to get him because that's where Central Saanich is. I didn't get the trip from all the way into town. It was only $25 to bring him to the airport from where I picked him up. And that was with the tip. Without the tip, it was only $19.70. So I got this guy out to the airport, and uh, now I have $263 on. So um, the night was uneventful for the most part, except for that part. And I've done okay first night of the year and I got one more night to go and my week is done maybe I'll be able to watch another video or two or maybe sleep a little bit before the end of my shift it's after all an hour and 45 minutes to go so I could even still get some more business okay well See you tomorrow. My week is going to end in about an hour. It is now Friday morning at 5.06. It is the night after the night after New Year's Eve. I have about 200 on. Maybe a few dollars more, but not much. It was quiet. I went to sleep many times. I had a couple of lucky longer fares, which were really good. But most of them were not all that terrific. And how many did I do? I did uh, two, four, six, eight, ten. I did 12 fares, which is not that bad. Oh, and now I'm third in zone. Now that I'm back in my favorite zone, I'm third. Most of the night I was first. Then I'd get a call and I'd come back and I'd be first again. Now, I did a call and it looks like we got the morning guys coming on. 94 and 81. Yeah, these, these might be the morning, morning shift, day shift. So yeah, the week, um, I had my second best night ever, which was uh, New Year's Eve. The best New Year's I ever had, but the second best in terms of money, in terms of earnings, second best night I ever had. The best night was the April 1st, 1995, when I took the girl all the way up to uh, Forbidden Plateau and back. And the reason she wanted to go was because she wanted to camp up there, but she was Hi, she was manic. Did I ever tell you about that experience? Where we were driving up there and then on the way back she was asking me how many children we had? That uh, was bizarre, very bizarre. Yeah. My weekends in less than an hour. And it's raining like pretty pretty hard. Supposed to rain all week. Yippee. Hope yours is better than mine.